Hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage. In this series, we're building a 1969 Mustang sports roof for the Hot Rod Power Tour 2022. In this episode, we're going to work on some more fitment with the trunk and the rear end of the car. Then we're going to remove all the body panels, cut away some rust, and just start getting everything to where the point is that we can start welding. So, we're going to get to it. Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop Alright, here we go again Back out here in the garage, I'm still working on the fitment of everything Before I get everything screwed together for pretty much getting it to where I want it to be I have to work on all the panel alignment so once I get all the panels aligned I'll get all the screws in it that way I have it where I can put it back together um, and get it ready for welding because I'll have to take everything off I still have a lot of welding to do I have to you know get, get the wheel well cut out on the driver's side get everything fit there and do a lot of just clean up and prep you know put holes in it for welding and all that stuff before I really finalize all that. So I'm going to be working on that fitment today. Hopefully getting a whole lot of screws in there. And then I can remove everything and have it where I can just fit it back together and get it aligned with the screw holes. And instead of having to re-test fit everything as much. So that's what we're doing. All right. tell you fucking what i've been out here for fucking hours just trying to get this damn deck lid to fit properly and nothing is symmetrical my gaps are all jacked up i was not happy with it but it was like that before i started doing all this but i thought i could fix it well i can't i got it better but i spent so much damn time tweaking this bitch trying to make sure it would fit right and it does fit pretty damn good, but the gaps just aren't even on each side. I mm, drove me nuts. Like I said, I've been out here two, three hours just working on this deck lid. I did a couple things and then started working on this deck lid. And uh, But let me show. So I went ahead and got this installed. Um, I got my end caps on. They fit pretty good. It took some tweaking. I had to push it in over here because it was sticking out. Because the way this lip that's behind it was, it was forcing it out because it was not quite right. But, boom. Shuts easy. Gap is bigger on this side. Top gap's pretty decent. Not perfect, but then on this side we have a lot smaller gap. But it was like that before I did all this. It does stick up a little bit right here. Um, I don't know if that's standard, but everything's fitting pretty good. Every The curves line up really nicely. 
on both ends. Now I have another deck lid. This is the one I had and I, it was tweaked pretty badly. I've, I've bent this a, quite a bit because it was tweaked pretty bad. And I might have actually made it a little bit better because it lines up pretty good. But this bitch has been fighting me, I swear. But uh, hey, I'm going to call it a night. It's getting pretty late here and I got work tomorrow. So that's where we are. Things are starting to fit together. I got a lot of sheet metal screws in it now. Um, that way I can disassemble it and somehow manage to put it back together again. All right, later. All right, everybody, we're back out here. I'm pretty happy with the fitment of what everything's going on. I've got a lot of screws in this. I'm going to put a couple more screws in this just to make sure these uh, panels will snug up a little bit better and then go back to this assembly. I got to start cutting out the uh, driver's side wheel well. Uh, and get a couple other things welded in place and patched up. So, time to dis disassemble and go to it. <music> assembled now we got to start working right here I got to cut out this end piece and I've got to work on this end piece as well uh, I still got to figure out exactly what I want to do with that whether I want to just take out the lip because it's solid uh, for the most part but we'll see um, so I'm about to start cutting away some of this and we'll see how that goes there be carnage got that part cut out got this chunk cut out but I got to get in here and you see right there there's a lot of excess metal I'm gonna have to get my air chisel out to use but I broke my air chisel so I need to get a new air chisel so that will be what's next on the agenda I'm gonna get that air chisel get that cleaned out and then I can start fitting this end piece to see where it's gonna be but on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Just got too much stuff to do and not the tools I need to do it. So later. Here we go again. I'm out here I'm about to start getting work done on the wheel well. Uh, there's some metal that's in the uh, little rocker part of it. So I have to get the air chisel out and try to get that out before I can start really fitting everything. So I'm going to work on that, maybe work on the, the filler panel a little bit, but it's just rust repairs and cutting, grinding, and all that good stuff to get stuff fit. I'll be putting the, uh, the quarter back on eventually to get those wheel well parts fit properly, and, but uh, here we go.
Look at there. Got this thing fitting pretty good. Lined up. Got that top edge meshed up. Got a little bit of a gap there that I'll have to patch. There's a, some area right here where it was rusted out pretty bad, so I had to cut it out. But little patch that'll fix that up too. I have to put the quarter on and see how it goes, but for the most part, we've got it fitting. So we'll see where we are next time. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in this week's episode. We got a lot of work done. We got those panels fitment right where I want them to be. Got a lot of screws added in to remove the panels and start getting rid of that rust. Once we finalize all the rust repairs and get everything put back in place to validate that everything fits the way I want it, we're going to start welding. A lot of it's going to be prepping those panels. I have to, you know, put a lot of spot weld holes in them and just clean the metal and get everything prepped to go. So, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you're thinking. Um, in the meantime, we'll catch you next week. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping out